Hey guys, are you dreaming of an open concept kitchen but scared to lose the cabinet storage space? Let me show you what we did for one of our clients. I'm Paul from Contact Renovation to Custom Homes. Welcome to the Art of Renovation. So here we had was the classic U-shaped kitchen. We had a wall here that divided the kitchen from the dining room. Really felt like a small cramped space, but they already struggled for storage. So we're really concerned about removing the wall and, and losing cabinet space. So let me show you a few things here that we've done to help kind of pack a big punch into what cabinets we do have here. So there's a few things right out of the out of the gate to consider is what to do with the high vaulted ceiling. You can see behind me here we have some quite high upper cabinets and those are for the occasional use items but at least you have somewhere to store them. Great way to get kind of clutter out of out of sight and still keep it within the area where we might need to access it. Same thing with above the fridge here we have this nice upper cabinet and as you can see it's designed here now to be able to store their cutting boards and their cookie sheets. And again, up top, another great spot to be able to store these things you don't use um, very often. So think about you know how to use those high up spaces in your kitchen and make sure you can get good, good um, storage solutions out of them. Um, we also have what was once kind of a pantry closet. So here now we've converted this into something that has pull outs and that makes a big difference. So now we have these pull-out drawers. So that really gives you far more access to what's at the back. This used to be really deep and difficult to get what's in there. So, so now they really get a lot more ease of access to what's being stored in this pantry. So you think a bit about where that pull-out might be beneficial for you within your kitchen and how it might get more storage into what little space you might have. Another great option here is below the kitchen sink, instead of your classic sink cabinets, cupboard doors. Here we have the double pull-out. Here you have garbage and recycling, as well as space behind it to store your cleaning supplies and other things. So another great way to maximize each square inch of the cabinets that you do have. And also other items like we have these pull-out features. This is nice because it stores large utensils, small appliances, keeps them off your countertops, and really helps have the space look clean and feel more open. So overall, it's a matter of looking at the space you have and what you can do with it to make sure you get the most out of it. Here's one more cool little tip here. Here we had a little kind of a pathway through the kitchen. They used to have a desk here that really made it tight to, to get through the kitchen. But now we have this small little countertop and some storage. And this is great for charging your phone, storing small items. Again, just maximizing what space you do have to get the biggest bang for your buck and for your square inch. If you have questions about how to design your kitchen, you want to blow out a wall but scared about losing storage space, please do reach out. As you can see here, the kitchen looks great, really connects well with the rest of the house, and they still get tons of storage. I'm Paul from Contact Renovations. Have a great one.